everybody Anne here sitting here in the tiny house having my cup I need to grab my coffee so I can do the whole having my coffee with all of you thing again um, sitting here in the tiny house a little chilly so I got my hat on and you want to know something it got really cold last night and I used to wear the hat with a pom-pom on it um, and that works great pull it down over my ears but the little pom-pom would like get stuck and it would come off I actually wore this to bed last night and it kept my ears nice and nice and warm. It kept my head and my forehead. So, I don't know. I hope this thing washes well. <laughs> it is just so cute. Anyway, I got to uh, process some of those cayenne red peppers that are hanging up over there. I took a few down the other day. And unfortunately, there were a few that did not dry out properly. And I think it's because when I hung them up it was really damp and it wasn't hot enough and they ended up getting black mold on the inside of them so now I'm I've took the rest of them down I had to throw those all out uh, it was a big handful of them and I'm going through them splitting them apart very carefully to make sure that there's no black mold on the inside of them because you can't use them and uh, just see how much I've got at the end of this season I was hoping I was going to have a lot more, but that's okay. Uh, I've got what I got, and, oh, here, let me just turn this camera around. This is how much I've got so far that has not molded, and I've just been breaking them apart. And you know what? I'm doing something that I didn't even think about. I am saving the seeds. Yes, indeed, I am saving the seeds. There's no reason why I can't get these to sprout next year. So, yeah, I'm just going to pull them all apart, make sure there's no blackness on the inside. Whoops. Save the seeds, plant them next year. I'm already starting to kind of plan for next year's garden, and I definitely am going to plant many, many more peppers. Um, it's all going to be in containers. I mean, I don't think I'm going to plant anything in the ground. Oops, what the, okay. I got another seed over here. But, so yeah, I was a little disappointed that there were quite a few of these that were black on the inside, and it's that black powdery mold. So, I am just breaking them all apart, having a look on the inside, just to make sure that none of these are like that. It was a pretty good string of them. Some big, beefy ones. And I'm thinking that the bigger ones you know I just need to dehydrate differently next year because in this climate it's just different than how I used to do it in Ohio because it was I mean it would get humid in Ohio but it's not the same as out here so look at all these seeds I'm getting you guys these will sprout won't they I mean some of them maybe some of the darker ones won't I don't know but uh Next year, what I'm going to do is use my truck, uh, the dash of my truck, like a subscriber suggested when I was trying to dehydrate those mushrooms. I think I can do it in my truck. I have to manage airflow um, because the puffball mushrooms, of course, they're very dense and they're very moist. Um, they all went bad. So I think the mistake that I had there was that there was no airflow. There was enough heat, but there wasn't enough airflow. So next year, I'm gonna put a little fan out there and just let it run, crack the window just a teeny bit, and dehydrate them that way. Yeah, I'm gonna pull these apart. Really, I'm just pulling apart right now. I could snip them, but when I noticed that when I was snip, snipping them with the scissors, uh, some of the seeds were getting kind of cut in half and they were getting damaged so but I definitely do want to look at the inside of each one of these peppers oh my my fingers are gonna be spicy after this and just make sure there's no black powdery stuff in there I was so disappointed you know how I found out I found out because I had put on a pot of beans not a big pot but um, I was seasoning them with this, and I was just breaking them up and throw them in, throwing them in there. And then I discovered there was black powder in my hands. I looked inside the peppers. There was black powder all in the inside of them. I looked in the pot of beans, 
and there was black powder floating all over the place so I had to totally dump that out so that kind of depressed me a little bit but oh well you live and learn so I'm gonna finish doing these I'm gonna go out and harvest the rest of the herbs that are that can be harvested maybe just leave a little bit behind for the chickens and string up those other ones and uh, no, just kind of take a look at how many, how much I got for this year. Not a whole lot, but next year it's going to be better. Well, this is how much I got. Not as much as I had hoped for, but these are all healthy, and I have not. Uh, I'm I'm not going to grind them up. I might I might take these scissors and and snip them up a little bit. You know, kind of like this. Go through, break them down a little bit more. Uh, but really, I'm just looking for for flakes. I can grind some down in my mortar and pestle if I want to, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And I got a lot of good looking seeds, so I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag, label them, put them somewhere dark and dry, and hopefully I'll get a few of these to come up next year. Hopefully I'll get a whole bunch of these. Yeah, look at that. Quite a few. What do you think? You think these will sprout, guys? Well, hello, chickens. Don't eat my Christmas tree. <laughs> Good morning, Romeo. And girls. Look at... I don't know if you can see one over there. I don't want to open the door because I'll all run away. There's one just kind of chilling out over there. Yeah, they poop all over my porch. I have to clean it up every single day. <laughs> don't peck my Christmas tree. You pretty, pretty birds. Before you know it, I'm going to have the whole flock up here. Just sitting up here, chilling out. I'm going to have to clear some space up here. See that? <laughs> That's my little tub I stand in. That's composting toilet. I put a toilet seat on it when I use it. That's my bulk material. This. You recognize this? Yup. I brought it back in. Here, let me set it up and show you what it looks like. Here it is. Yep, I used a garbage bag because I, I got rid of my other uh, little shower curtains before. So all I do is I put it long ways. I put the tub long ways this way. And then I use those little garden clips that Doreen sent me on the inside there. I step inside. Here, let me step inside. I pull this closed and see I've got plenty of room. And you can't hardly see. I can see though. Sorry, my battery's low. I just want to get this done. So, yep, I'm inside. And I've just got a little light here. I've got my slippers on. And all I do is I reach out. And the, and that's actually the composting toilet. I put the bucket right out here. And I put the pump down into it. I leave the shower head in there while I'm lathering up and whatnot. I just grab it, bring it in here, shower myself all up. And then when I'm done... I just put the pump back into the tub and put the water back into the bucket and then carry it out. And then I will carry this out, put it upside down, let it dry out, and just let this drip down into here as much as it possibly can. Then transfer the water from there to here, take it outside, and then hang the hula hoop back up on a little hook, bring all of this down here, and just put the bottom of it in that little tub just to make sure that it doesn't drip on my floor. Yeah, it's going to be cool. And there's my pretty little Christmas tree. Look at that. Isn't that great, you guys? I'll put some decorations on it. They're going to have to be very lightweight. Those lights, that's just one string of them, too. Really light it up nicely, and they're very lightweight, so they're perfect. Awesome. Time to make some tea. Tonight, as I'm sitting in my comfy slippers in front of my toasted fire, I decided on Bengal Spice Herbal Tea. It's delicious. That's all I got for you guys tonight. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.